day everyone. I am Midshipman Padrid, John Christopher Y from BSMT NM62. So for today's video, I will discuss to you and demonstrate to you the maneuvering characteristic and procedures in rescuing the persons overboard. Okay, so when we talk about the man overboard, this is a situation wherein the ship's crew member falls out at sea due to the bad weather condition or even the negligence. Okay, so uh, no matter where the vessel is uh, sailing in an open sea or in, in uh, still water in port, there's a lot of things that we should be able to cope with that kind of situation. So, uh, let's say this uh, attachment required is one of the most uh, important things or the essential things on board a vessel. So, the attachment required the man overboard marker which is uh, from daytime, the smoke signal and from night time is the bulb light. And also we have the procedure or the uh, primary actions in conducting this kind of man overboard situation. So first is what we call the shout. Okay, shout man overboard on starboard side or even on port side. Okay, the second is throw. Throw a light buoy or dan buoy or light ring on a victim that is fell overboard. The third is what we call the point or keep eye on the man who is fell uh, overboard or the victim that is fall out at sea to let him survive. And also, as you can see from the victim or as you notice the victim, inform the bridge, bridge, man overboard on starboard side, man overboard in port side. So that is the primary actions that uh, you should be taken in conducting the MOV situation. Okay. So we have three most important man overboard situation or the uh, man overboard uh, recovery methods that used at sea. So first, we have the Williamson turn. So Williamson turn is the commonly used in maneuvering characteristics uh, in terms of man overboard situation. So phase one, note the position of the ship and then put the wheel hard over to the side of casualty so this is the side uh, this is the casualty so put the wheel hard over to the side of casualty and then add zero six zero degrees to your compass heading okay immediately add zero six zero degrees uh, compass or the compass to your heading and then for instances if you're going to zero zero degrees north go to 0, 60 degrees of course, okay? And then, immediately, turn your herring on the opposite direction until you reach the 180 degrees, okay? So, when the vessel 20 degrees short of reciprocal course, okay, from that herring, you're most likely to intersect with the victim and let him survive, okay? When you uh, reach the victim, so apply the three primary actions that uh, should be taken in conducting the man overboard situation. So what are the three primary actions? Just like I said a while ago. So first, what we call the shout, man overboard, throw, light ring. And the third is what we call the point or keep eyes on the uh, person who is pull out at sea. And then inform the bridge. Uh, from that incident happened to give you an alarm to help the uh, person that is fell overboard. So this is the situation for Williamson third. The second most essential man overboard uh, recovery methods that use at sea is what we call the Skarnov turn. So here the diagram for Skarnov turn. So this is uh, cannot use uh, for immediate maneuver. Okay, phase one of scarn of turn is stop the engine. Okay, put the rudder over hard towards the person if the person is fell overboard, like that, uh, for example. And then pull rudder. Okay, pull rudder towards the person here after deviating from the original course by about 240 degrees. Okay, shift the rudder on the opposite side here shift the rudder 
from the opposite side as you reach the 20 degrees. Okay, when the herring is 20 degrees short of reciprocal course, put the rudder amidship and turn the vessel back to the reciprocal course. This is the condition for the Skarnob turn as second essential use in MOB recovery methods that use at sea. So the third and last most important man overboard uh, recovery methods that use at sea is what we call the Anderson turn or the single turn. So phase one of a single turn is stop the engine, put the rudder towards or put the rudder over hard towards the person. So when clear of person, go ahead still using the pull rudder. So from here, after deviating from the original course by about 250 degrees, so by about two to third uh, complete circle and back to the engine, two to third or pull. So as you reach from here, okay, stop the engines when the target point is uh, 15 degrees of the bow and also is the rudder and back to the engine as required. This is the condition for Anderson turn or what we call the single turn. So I hope everyone that uh, you have or you gain more knowledge about uh, what I discussed regarding to the man overboard uh, situation on board a uh, on board a vessel. Particularly if you uh, if you see that having a big team that fell overboard, apply the three primary actions and also inform the bridge to let him survive out of the sea and back on the vessel. Thank you so much.